Hi everyone, so today I'm going to do a quick review on this um, contour palette by NYX. It's actually called the Highlight, Highlight and Contour Pro Palette. You get eight shades in here and I got it for £18 on Boots.com. And I have already used this product before but um, I'm just going to show you how I wear it and how I use it and what are my thoughts on it. I have also rated it as well and I'm just going to give you my thoughts on it on how it lasts long on the face and how it applies and things like that. I did um, do a review quite a while ago on the Makeup Revolution Ultra Contour Palette and you guys seem to really like it. I think it got like 50,000 views which is quite a lot for me. So I thought I'd do a review on this one and a couple of you guys requested it. My voice is going. <laughs> Sorry guys but um, yeah I'm just going to show you guys how I wear it and things like that. So if you want to know a bit more about this palette then just keep on watching. So right now I have like most of my makeup done but not like I haven't got any concealer on or like contour and stuff so I'm going to apply some concealer. I'm going to mix these two concealers for today I'm using the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Concealer Nude and then the LA Girl in Toffee. By the way I like have this thing right here I just ignore it. It was literally just like a spot. Um, I think it's called Milia and it was just staying there for ages so I just decided to like pop it out and it was kind of a struggle that's why I just like it's red but now I know it's not there anymore so here I'm just going in first with the um, LA Girl one in Toffee and now I'm going to go in with the Maybelline one And then I'm just going to take my beauty blender and blend everything out. Okay, so now I'm just going to quickly set the um, powder in. Um, I'm going to use this yellow one right here. And I just like to use this one to set my concealer in. Like any yellow powder. If you have really like a cool tone skin tone, then this powder would be great for you. Like even if you're like really pale, you can use this powder to set your face. But I like to go um, with the yellow one. And I'm using my Real Techniques contour brush and I'm just like setting my under eye. So this palette um, has four contour shades, well contour bronzing shades. Then it has two highlighter shades, this one's a more pale white shade and th this one's a more goldish brown, goldish shade. And then these are your two matte, these are basically two shimmeries and then the rest are matte shimmeries, I don't even know what I'm talking about but they're just shimmery powders and the rest are matte. And so basically these two would be kind of like your setting powders and then the four on the top would be your contour slash bronzer shades. Um, the cool tone one I would probably use for like um, contour and then the rest would be more for bronzing. It really depends with your skin tone to be honest. Now I have to be honest with this review and the part like when you swatch the powders they're very pigmented like I'll just I'm just like swatching it and you can see they're super like pigmented Sorry, my dog's snoring. But when you touch them, they're not as velvety, like not as smooth of a, of a powder. Like the Makeup Revolution one, when you touch it, it's very smooth and velvety when you swatch them. But these kind of feel, they don't feel as smooth. That's what I want to say. They feel smooth, but not as smooth as the, as the Makeup Revolution one. But I can't say that they're not pigmented because they are. Like this is the darkest brown shade. So you can see that's super pigmented. Basically they're not as smooth but they are very pigmented still. Um, I'd re that's why I really really like my Makeup Revolution one because the powders just glide on your skin. But then these do, sometimes the bronzers can be a little bit chalky, like it can apply a bit patchy. I feel like in terms of colour range and then the pigmentation, this palette is very good as well. Kind of similar to that, the Makeup Revolution one. But overall, this palette is still good. So I am going to stop talking now and then just like kind of like start contouring. Actually, I might bronze first. So I'm going to use this brush that I always bronze with 
you can use any brush. For bronzers, I don't like to go for this one because it's too dark for my skin tone, which, but it would be great for much deeper skin tones, which is really great because you guys know that I feel like color, color range is so important because there's so many skin tones, so you can't just like focus on one type or just a few. You need to focus on all of them, and I feel like this palette targets all skin types, which I really like. And um, I like to just mix um, these two. But my most favorite one is this warm toned here. That's the one I really like to use the most. So as you can see, it kind of tends to apply it a bit, a little bit patchy, but you just have to like work with it. Then I like to just go with a cleaner like brush and soften the powder out. Because otherwise if you don't do this, there's going to be harsh lines and it's not going to like blend properly. So overall, it's kind of nice, like it's really nice. Um, I like it on my skin. You just need to be able to blend it properly. That's the only issue I would say. Like for me, that's really bronzed up my skin really nicely in my opinion. So then what I like to do is then take a flatter brush and then take this shade right here, which is a more, which is more of a cool tone brown. And I'm just gonna like, slightly contour a little bit you don't want to do it too much now onto the highlight shades I just like to mix both of them to be honest I love both of them because they're both very subtle I'll swatch both of them for you guys that's what the shades look like this one right here is the white the pearly white one and that's the rose goldish one so basically what I like to do is just mix the two so that's what I'm gonna do I really like the pearly white one though, to be honest. And the pearly white one looks very similar to the um, Becca Pearl highlight. I think that it's Pearl, but it gives a nice go. Look, it looks so nice. I love the highlighters in this palette. So that's me showing you a demo on how I kind of like apply these powders and I got this for £18 on boots.com and you get um, eight powders in here you I feel like um, I got the makeup revolution one and in that one you have you have yeah in the makeup revolution one you get eight powders as well but I feel like the the powder pans are smaller than these ones and that palette is only eight pounds and this one's 18 pounds I do definitely like the bronzer shades I'm not too fond with this this powder because I feel like it doesn't set my concealer in as well as I want it to like they're still creasing I can show you now like there's still creases there when I use my Ben Nye banana powder or the makeup revolution one I don't get that so which kind of sucks I love the bronzer shades I love the highlight shades I'm not too fond of these two right here I will still use it but it's not like my go-to but I really love the bronzer shades and the um highlight ones and in terms of longevity of the powder I feel like they're quite good like the bronzer doesn't budge if you use a good foundation and primer underneath it won't budge the highlighters are so subtle and amazing and yeah I think that's what I have to say I would give this palette maybe a 8 out of 10 because it long it lasts long it's um, you get so many shades I feel like maybe I'm not giving it a 10 or 9, it's because of the price, it is a bit on the pricey side even though it's drugstore and I would say that I'm not too fond of the like the matte setting, eye concealer setting powders but then overall I love the palette, it's great, it targets all skin tones and yeah the packaging is great as well, it looks sturdy and you get you can like actually pop them out and then I don't know what that's for but you can like rearrange it or something, I don't know. So overall for this palette is an 8 out of 10. I really like it and I will continue to use it, but maybe not the setting powders, but the rest I will definitely will. I really like it. So that's my quick review on this palette. I really hope that you found it helpful and enjoyed it. Don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe for more videos. And leave me a little comment in the comments below. And I will talk to you guys in my next video. Bye!